guys, it's Kelsey's Wonderland 11. Today I'm unboxing a pair of Woodling Creature Shop ears. I've never bought from them, I don't have any of their ears, I've never worn a pair, so I'm really excited. It's from a release probably a month or two ago now. They're like dark red or dark wine kin ears, and I'm super excited. They came in the mail a week or two ago, and due to life and the holidays, I just wasn't able to open them, but I'm super excited to see how they fit. They came in this envelope from Canada. I'm in the US. Normally envelopes like this can be a little sketchy just for the fact that they don't give as much protection as normal envelopes do. So I'm hoping that all went well and let's see what they look like. Today is Monday and I don't even know. It's, I'm on vacation this week. That's kind of fun. And trying to work up my... Oh, uh, normal college starts again tomorrow too. Alright, so here are the ears. They are all packaged up nice and tight. They look fine. They don't look like anything happened to them at all. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to open them without ripping all the hair off because apparently it is taped shut somehow. Anyway. Oh man, it's stuck to the tape. That sucks. Okay. Here are the ears fresh out of the bag. They are kind of wily and all over, but that's okay. Um, on the camera, it looks a little brown. And these are more like a dark maroon red wine color. There is a card in here, which is cool. It says Woodland Creature on it. I'm hoping that's focusing well enough for you guys to see it. And yeah, I even have a brush right here, so let's try and brush them out. They are wired on, silver wire. Woodland Creature Shop does releases every, anywhere from about two times to two times a week to every one or two weeks. It kind of depends on her schedule. I'm not super familiar with the shop, but I have been following for a while when I realized she was doing releases again, or that there was more of a pattern to releases than what I knew there to be before. Man, these are kind of raggedy in some spots because of the, them getting stuck to the tape on the bubbles, <laughs> bubble wrap. So, and then on the back, I don't know if this is common for her ears, but like, can you guys see that? Where there's just a bunch of random fabric hanging? I mean, I don't think it's gonna, it's not gonna affect how you wear it, per se. And it doesn't seem to have that at all on this side. It's trimmed very well. But yeah, it's kind of weird. But even from the front, you can see it. Like this part right here. So it's kind of weird. Again, trying to... Shape out the fuzz, because <laughs> right now it's just kind of all the head, all over. These were probably like fifty or sixty dollars, so for fifty or sixty, I'm looking for really, really good quality. Let's try. They are not okay. They will move, but not move very easily on the wire. Here's what they look like on. Uh, I like how they look. I'm, I don't know, I'm not disappointed, but I'm also not like over the moon or overwhelmed. And that's just a first impression. I think it might change. You can bend them a little bit, that's cool. So I will give a, for this one I'll probably do another impression or I'll give a better kind of review sort of thing on Instagram after I've actually worn them a little bit. Let's try and move them down just a hair. Man, that's not fucking moving at all. That's rough. So yeah, I've got the week off. I don't have anything big planned except kind of sleeping, catching up on everything, having some alone time. Damn, these don't move like at all. Is that common, guys? For anyone that has had woodland creature ears or has them currently, is that like a thing? This is like barely moving at all. It's kind of rough. I don't know, maybe it's I just don't know how to style them well. Like, do you still see how raggedy that looks? Hold on, I'm gonna pull up the picture and see if I can't figure out a better way to style them or like see how they were styled in the original picture. Cause I think I had to buy them through Etsy. So there should be like a pic, yep, right here. Yep, I bought them on December 19th and I got here about two weeks ago, so. End of January, or excuse me, 
and in December they came pretty quick. They came very quick. Okay. I'm going to turn my light all the way up so hopefully you guys can see it. Um, I guess in the picture they're kind of they're kind of scraggly, like the hair is kind of all over anyway. Again, it's not a bad thing, it's just not like what I thought they were like. So. So now I know that, and I can style it a little bit better based on the picture, which is super helpful. Because <laughs> sometimes it's like you're not sure which way the, air, air, the hair is supposed to go on these. The wig on the mannequin in the picture is white, kind of like the tufts on this, so it's kind of hard to see where or like a white blonde, and it's hard to see where this hair starts and ah, fuck, that that hair ends. So let's get dish up. These are kind of a mess. Maybe this is just how these ears are normally. And these are wine red kitten ears. I don't know, I don't love, personally, ears that are really messy with the tufts, or where the tufts just kind of, like, go wherever. So, after some brushing and styling, this is what I have, which doesn't look bad at all, it's just not kind of what I'm used to. It looks a lot better on the screen than it does in person, which is kind of, which is reassuring. So, let's go ahead and try them on again. I tried to move them a little bit, they do not move much at all, and that's okay. I do like the shape, I do like the shape, I like the size. It does not work with the glasses so well, so let's try it this way. It seem like one's higher than the other. Ugh, I'll have to keep adjusting. That's okay. Anyway, so I do like them now that I'm wearing them, and I will fight with them a little bit more, like try and adjust them down a little bit. And I'm not sure about the tufts. The tufts bother me. I might trim them personally, but I'll give it a couple of wears to see if I like it, or if I get adjusted to it, or if I can find a way to style them without altering the original ear. So, this is Woodland Creature Shop. She has an Etsy and an Instagram. The Etsy is just Woodland Creature Shop. You type that in, all one word. Her Instagram, I think, is probably some variation of that. There might be some periods. I don't see a lot of stuff from her all the time. Like, it doesn't pop up regularly. And then she also has a wood book. <laughs> wood book? Facebook, which is Woodling Creature, which is this bottom one right here in the corner, if you can see that. And yeah, definitely go check her out. She tends to post to Instagram before her releases. And yeah, um, she is in Canada, so it does take a little bit longer for most people to get there, unless you're based in Canada, so it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.